everybody, welcome back to another video, and as you can probably see by the screen, we are in Minecraft, and today I have made something special. And there are four special items that I've created, and you probably already know what they are by the title. So what we need to do is create a new world, or you don't actually have to create a new world, you can put the file in an already existing world. Oh, um, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is a data pack that you can download and play right now. But don't click off yet, because there's some necessary setup you have to do that isn't difficult, but it's easy to get wrong if you don't know how to do it. So let's create a new world. Creative. Allow cheats on. And then just go in and create it. Approximately 10 hours later. Alright, after that loads in, you should just spawn in. What you're going to want to do is go slash. Oh no! Nope. Um, you need to put the data pack in first. So I'll be back once I actually put the data pack in. If you don't know how to do that, then there are plenty of good tutorials on YouTube, but I won't be covering that in this video. So I'll see you when I finish that. All right. Uh, see you in a second. Alright guys, after hopefully fixing the last of the bugs that would make it not work, we're going to type slash reload once more, and you're not going to have to do this, but I am because I have to go through all these bugs. And what caused that entire setup to not work was one simple place I wasn't supposed to capitalize a letter. So that's the kind of errors I have to go through with making data packs. So, uh, after it's all working, which it should be for you, run slash function mm start. And that will create you everything you need, as you'll see in the bottom. My mana starts going up, and I'm set to tier 1. Now, as you can see at the bottom, as I mentioned before, there is a mana meter and a tier level. Now, you're probably going to want to actually get some spells. Now, there's no way to get them in survival currently, so you're going to run, have to run slash function mm give. That will give you all of these. Now, I'm going to turn my volume down real quick so it's not overly loud. But we have mine, fireball, night vision, and magnet. Now, the names are probably self explanatory, but for mine, it will mine a 3x3 three three area around you, and it uses 10 mana. Now guys, this mine enchantment works really well for mining out huge areas. I mine a little bit here as you can see. Also if you're wondering what that is, that's copper from the latest snapshot. This data pack should work in older versions, but it was made in the latest snapshot. So this is really good for clearing out large areas. And uh, if you see my tier is at 10 and my mana isn't going down, that's a feature I'll showcase later in the video. But this is super good for clearing out large areas, clears out 3x3 three three around you, so you can do mining really easily. And something that is a bit OP about this, if we go down to like the bottom of the world, Yep, should be there soon. Oh, yep, I am there. So, this can actually break bedrock, but it can't break the bottom layer below you, and it won't drop it, so... You aren't able to obtain bedrock, but you are able to break it. Now, this is an intended feature. This isn't like a bug, it's intended because you're able to make your bedrock look flat and better. So... The bedrock won't, like, be annoying, and, like, you, you know how bedrock is, it's really annoying. It's all over the place, so you can't get rid of it very easily. And this fixes that. Now, you cannot, like, get uh, below the world, but you can use this to get on top of the nether. But you can do that already, so it's not, it's not broken. It's intended feature, yeah. <laughs> So, seriously, this is really useful, mining, and everything. So, if you have any, like, suggestions, maybe I should make this more expensive. 
and maybe I should lock this behind certain tiers, which I'll explain later in the video. So please tell me, comments, discord server, you know that kind of thing. So to the next section. Now if I set my mana up, if I do slash scoreboard, players, set, oh, fireball went off apparently, and then my name, mana, and the maximum is 100. Now, that fireball went off because of what happens sometimes. If you click with a carrot on a stick when you don't have enough mana, now these will be retextured later, they will not always be this carrot dangling from a fishing pole. If you click while you are not able to do it, it will still bring the scoreboard for detection up. So what you just have to do is you have to get off of your spell and go, and then you can go back on and it'll be fixed. But mining, as you can see, uses 10 mana. It mines that little area like this. Fireball summons in a fireball. Also uses 10 mana. And that you can punch in any direction. And it will set off a little fireball there. And then there's something you can do with the fireball. As you can see, it spawns it in. But if you press both of your mouse buttons at the same time, it'll shoot forward. Or you press right first and then left shortly after. So it goes something like this. It will shoot forward. So that's how you do that. But I have the functionality of um, just spawning in because one, it's easier for me to implement and two, it gives it more uses, I feel like. Like you can set up traps, maybe someone goes to open their chest or something and they hit a fireball. So the next spell we have is the night vision spell. I think it's also pretty self-explanatory, but what you do is if we go down into a dark area, say down in this cave, and we use the spell, It'll take up no mana, apparently. Oh, nope. That was just a little bit of lag. 10 mana. And we get night vision for 5 minutes. Now, not everything uses 10 mana. I'm planning on implementing other levels later. But, uh, yeah, night vision. Maybe it doesn't take away mana, and I'm just dumb. Maybe I'm just dumb. Yeah, that, that's normally what happens. So that'll be fixed when you get the pack. There's a ton of bugs that I need to test for, and I probably should have done that before I recorded. But we're doing that anyways. And the final one is Magnet. This one is pretty special. If there are a bunch of items on the floor, oop, not that many. Well, it'll work, but I want to show that it, it can be all around. If there are a bunch of items on the floor, and you use the spell, all those items will come to you any of the items within a 20 block radius. So those are the four spells I have currently. As I said before, you can download this from the link in the description. If you encounter any bugs, please comment them or you can join my Discord server and report them there. And if you have any suggestions, you can comment them, leave them in my Discord server, that works too. But. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Um. I forgot something. So you can see in the bottom, there's a tier level. So, probably wondering, how do you increase your tier? Well, it's pretty simple. You kill the Ender Dragon. So, if we do slash locate stronghold... It won't work because I disabled command feedback, but that's one of the issues of this. But unless you want your chat spammed with commands, then it won't work. But I can get myself a netherite sword. I can just spawn one in. Ender dragon. So if I kill this guy, approximately ten hours later, if this works. Kill at e type equals. Ender Dragon. Well, um, well, it's set up once you kill the Ender Dragon that the um your tier will go up. But I can just use commands to get it because apparently I can't kill the Ender Dragon. So 
If I set my tier to 2, you'll see my mana starts regenerating faster. If I set it to 3, it'll be even faster. And then 4 does nothing. 5, even faster yet. And then 10, infinite mana. Your mana will never go down. So even if I constantly spam fireballs, I'll have infinite mana. So you have to kill the ender dragon nine times, and then you get infinite mana. Now I have plans for higher tiers and what they could do, but for now, that's all that happens. So I hope you enjoyed this data pack showcase. Like I said, if you want to download it, there's a link in the description. If you find any bugs, please report them to me in the comments or in my Discord server. Any suggestions, you can do the same. And there are fireballs up in the sky, and it looks like I'm about to die to meteors. So, I think this is a good place to end the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye! Yeah, I learned a few things this video. I learned that I'm too lazy to fix bugs, so I call it an intended feature and leave it in the pack. I also learned that I say the word now more than anything else, and I talk about my Discord server more than I do Minecraft. I also have more bugs in my data packs than I do brain cells, but that's nothing new. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.